Hey friends, in today's video I'm going to be doing a super cute and unique two strand twist hairstyle on my daughter. I am always looking for new styles and I saw something similar but I changed things up and I added my own flavor, a little bit of my own style to make it unique to my daughter. My girls are growing up fast and I'm slowly transitioning to hairstyles that are a little bit more age appropriate and that they can kind of grow with but also shows their personality. If you're new to my channel, I am a mom of five babies and I have a lot of foster parents and adoptive parents that follow me here on YouTube. So I love doing kind of step-by-step -step guides and tutorials, sharing my tips and tricks with you all. Now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put it in four rough parts and put leave-in conditioner from roots to ends all the way to just put back that moisture automatically because when you shampoo hair, we didn't shampoo today, but when you shampoo hair, it automatically strips the hair of all its natural oils. So we wanna make sure we put that back in like right away. Okay, so I've got one section done. Let me do this and then I'm gonna show you the kind of style I'm going to do and the tools, like that brush that I use and the bands that I use and all that. No, we just building It's my season, lay foundation Make a name for generations Please and make a, and take a break Or a little vacation And chasing blues away You always posting up And we are ready to start styling Okay, so this is the game plan I'm gonna put it into two different parts so I'm going to part it. Let me take this out so it's just easier. I'm going to, oh my gosh, her hair is so moisturized. I love it. I'm going to start at the top of her ear here. You can do any type of part that you like. Part it all the way to the other side. Just a rough part and then I'll go back and clean it up afterwards and make sure it's even. But it should just part super easily because you've done all that detangling work deep condition just oh my gosh it helps manage and okay I'm gonna move you around in a second okay? okay so we're just gonna part it all the way across I'm gonna start at the top of the ear you can start wherever you like just kind of eyeball it making sure it gets as even as possible and when you pull it apart be gentle and there that's good enough let me just clean it up a little bit Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this section up because this is the last section that I'm going to style. And then I'm going to create some rows. I am the type of person who just eyeballs everything. I don't really think. I do, literally don't even know what kind of style I'm gonna do until I get going. I think for her, one, two. I'm gonna make three rows. I'm just gonna eyeball it and separate it with my rat tail comb here and um, pin each section up and we'll go from there. Baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. We don't check for me. Taking time. But now I have got my three rows. I need to clean this one up a little bit. I wish I had more of those clips, but we've lost all of our clips. <laughs> By the way, everything you see in this video, I'm, I'll put all the links down below in the description. So, all her hair is moisturized with the leave in conditioner. Now I'm going to go through it with oil. I ran out of my favorite one, which is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength castor oil, um, but I do like this Olive um, Miracle Anti-Breakage Formula. This is really good as a hot oil treatment as well. I love a lot of oils. Coconut oil does not work very well on her hair, but um, she, it, her, her hair likes every other type of oil. So I'm just gonna put a generous amount. I use a lot of oil, that's just how I am on her hair because I feel like that's one of the main reasons why her hair has grown so beautifully is because oil. Again, starting from the ends, 
working our way up. Look how beautiful her hair is. I decided to use some like pretty colors in her hair. Do you, I want, you wanna use these colors? Do you like those? Okay, so I've got this like lavender purple and I've got orange because I like loud colors and I think it's super fun for little girls and I'm gonna take advantage of my little girls being young for as long as I can and liking me do that kind of stuff in their hair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some eco gel. This is probably one of my favorite gels ever. Nothing. What are you talking about, Bea? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just do two here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that eco gel. So as soon as I smooth it out, and I like using a little bit of gel on the actual hair as well, because um, it helps it hold and lock in all that moisture from the leave-in and the oil. So I'm gonna make sure it's as smooth as possible. And then I'm gonna take my band and I'm just gonna put it um, firmly but not super tight to the scalp. And I can be a little bit tighter with these hair ties because they are so gentle on the hair. I go ahead and do a two strand twist by separating it and twisting it together. The gel helps me smooth down all the baby hairs and it really looks nice with the gel, locking in all that moisture. A first row done, onto the second row. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and the broken hearts. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat. Paradise is waiting. Okay, row two is done. Let me show you. And I decided to alternate the colors, but I wanted to stop here before I twist the last section of row two because I want to show you if you can see, I love using these little brushes and if you don't have one of these you can use a toothbrush to slick it back on the side so that it looks nice and neat and a quick tip i like to slick it back more and have it lay um in the back instead of having it more over here like a pigtail because i think turn front baby because i think when she looks forward i don't want to see it like poking out because i think it looks nicer and more neat when it lays Okay, you can turn it now. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Um, when it lays to the back. So, quick tip there. If you want it to look a little bit more neater and lay better, slick it back and push it more towards the back. Getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of. They're feeding the fears and the doubts. Ooh. But we go and we run to the end and we run without shame. We own the game. And we ride on the flames till the morning. It looks really nice. I love the way that looks. It just looks nice and clean. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the top. I just love the way this feels. It feels so good. I'm gonna do the top. I'm gonna see if I can get you all the way up here and show you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna start out by parting it as even as I can using nose as a guide all the way down to the first row. Okay, after I part it, I'm going to work on one section at a time. For this style, I'm going to make three different parts. One, two, three, as even as I can. Guava strawberry? Mm -hmm.
is I heard it all, all the same But go ahead and use me I need it now I need it now All them pretty words, always lame You're trying to entice me Not going down Not going down And you Trying to make a case Don't wait Cause you about to be erased, aced, aced I got too much love for me Got too much love for me So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it with this I already got some gel on it, I'm gonna make sure it's not a nice Nicely smooth back so it looks nice and clean and then I'm going to take my orange one and I'm going to put it together. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead, put it together. I don't need it to be that tight. I don't want it to hurt her, so it's just sturdy enough. And then do the same exact thing. Always make sure you prep this before you put this in here so that this is nice and moisturized because you can't moisturize it very well when it's already connected. Yes, I heard it all, all the same But go ahead and use me I need it now I need it now All them pretty words, always lame You're trying to entice me Not going down Not going down And you Trying to make a case Don't wait Cause you to be erased, aced, aced. And I'm gonna do three different twists and I'm just gonna let them hang and chill. Another thing you can do if you want to put like beads in every single one of these ends, that would look super adorable. I just didn't have um, like the color beads that I wanted to do right now. I have a bunch of like Christmas colors and Valentine's colors, but I didn't have any other like regular ones. So I ordered some and they didn't come in time. But if you wanted to put beads, you could just do all black or maybe one color and then but put coordinating beads. But I think this would be a little too loud if I put beads and all these cute colors. Okay, we are almost done. We're on the last twist. So excited. You can do as many twists as you want. You can do as many different parts as you want. You can maybe just like do two instead of I did three here. You could do two rows instead of doing three rows down here. You know, you can actually extend this type of pattern higher and then do a cute princess bun on the top or two buns on the side to switch it up. I just really needed Elia's um, style to last me two weeks because we have a super, super busy couple weeks coming up and um, with four little girls and lots of work to be done around the house and in our backyard and for work, I just needed to get her into a protective style. But um, I think after this, I wanna play around with some like Bantu knots in the front and maybe some braids in the back instead of twists. I like switching up styles, braids, twists, big sections, small sections. Um, I alternate to give her parts and her scalp a break and put her in a different style. I think that's what contributes to her hair being so nice is me putting in different styles each time. So, yeah, it looks beautiful. You wanna stand up and show them? It looks so gorgeous. Oh, we gotta change our shirt. We got some oil on it. Mommy loves oil. Oil makes the world go round. <laughs> it really helps with hair growth and to keep it nice and strong. But if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments below. I will put all the products that I use today and some of my fave products um, down below as well. And we can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.